In the last lesson, you learned exactly how blue light stimulates the circadian rhythm and why you want to minimize your exposure at night. Our phones, TVs, and computers are major sources of blue light at all hours of the day. It's fine to get blue light from these devices in the middle of the day, but what about light at night? Let's be realistic. You're not going to turn into a caveman and stop using these devices in the evening altogether. There are two things you can do to minimize the blue light produced by phones, TVs, and computers at night so you can use them while minimizing their impact on your circadian rhythm. The first thing to do is to turn down the brightness of the display. Just by dimming the screen, you get rid of a lot of sleep interrupting blue light. You should dim the display to a level that still allows you to see but does not cause eye strain. The brightness controls are going to depend wildly on your device, but some common locations are at the top of the keyboard on laptop computers, within the menus of TVs and computer monitors, in the top drawer on Android phones, and in the bottom drawer on iPhones. The second thing you can do is to install or enable blue light reducing software. In most cases, this will cause your screen to shift to look orange at night. The orange hue is a sign that there's less blue light. Now, I want to note that you should not use this mode for any color critical work, such as graphic design and photo editing. But for casual use, blue light reducing software is a foolproof way to turn down the blue. The software that reduces blue light differs a lot by device type. So the next few videos are going to cover specific devices like PCs, Macs, TVs, iPhones, and Android phones. To recap this lesson, there are two things you can do to reduce blue light on your TV, computer, and phone. The first is to dim the screen, and the second is to install blue light reducing software. Thanks for sticking with me so far, and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.